Hey folks, Coach Patrick here from Endurance Nation with a quick preview of screencast movie that's put together by Endurance Nation, hosted by Coach Rich and myself. You can get the full video, everything else you need at triathlonexecution.com. This course talk is essentially everything you need to know about Ironman Wisconsin. We talk about the terrain, we talk about the tr transitions, we talk about the swim, we talk about strategy. It's got a little bit of everything in there for you. And we complement that information by using technology such as um, our MAPS protocol here where we've got push pins. We zoom all the way out, show you the entire course. We can get really, really detailed as well. Uh, zoom right in, um, show you what something will look like for the swim, for example. And then, of course, we've got um, a profile section for you, very unique, uh, where you can actually see what the course is going to look like before you get there. And you have access to this map once you purchase the product. We complement all of that information with a pretty deep reserve of pictures. So now you know exactly what things are going to look like in transition, for example, before you get there. So you feel comfortable and you're at home. The full video is just over an hour and 45 minutes long, way more information than you could ever possibly need. Buy it, you get it for your iPod, your phone, and everything. Enjoy. That is the only, I hate to say technical, but, you know, it's a downhill into a sharp right, into a couple rollers, into a short little pop, into a, into a fast downhill. So it might be worth writing that. Even just, um, to, even just to get a sense for the rhythm. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and that, that, um, that pop on Sligo at Acorn Lane, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a steep little pitch, but it's very, very short. I'm talking, you know, 50 to 100 meters. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's small ring type stuff. Don't, don't, don't try to drill up it. Mm -hmm. But it is the, you know... It, Anywhere else, it would be just another another pop, but it is literally like the only one on the entire course. So it's good to know that it's that it's there. Mm -hmm. and it shows um, up again on um, second loop's going to be like mile seventy six, yeah, mile eighty, yeah. which just gets into that four hour, five hour range when a lot of people kind of go brain dead on the yeah. bike, uh, and and you might just be too tired to shift on that bad boy. So um, yeah, don't 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 try to stand and drill up it. Just you know, go out there and. Go out there on uh, um, uh, on Friday. Dial in what gears you need to do, uh, and just you know, it's just it's. I won't say hill. I won't say climb. It is a very very short pop, but you know it's there. So kind right, of course. So we're continuing on. We're taking this right on the spree. Yep. Pre flat road. This 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 section is like, you know. It's the dudes with the with the huge front yards and the thoroughbreds kicking it in your front yard that's 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 what this that's what this section is like okay um i think it's a it, it's a net uphill mm -hmm. but it's very very slight um it's okay. just a it's just a pretty part of the course you make the left on 153 um there's uh maybe like one one downhill one one uphill on that section uh nothing major mm -hmm. um until uh, uh, until you make the left on on 42 mm -hmm. at the intersection of 81 or correction the intersection of 153 and 42 mm -hmm. there's a little country store there very friendly folks um, drop in say hello buy a soda buy a sandwich um, so you make the left on 42 from uh, from 153 and 42 to, I want to say, uh, Skylight, which is um, mile 54, 55, 56. Mm -hmm. These are, these are like, like big rollers and big, like big uphills and big downhills. And I'd say that it's, it's probably like, a, like a net uphill. Mm -hmm. Um, so that when you get to uh, to the intersection, when you're heading home, at, you know, at the end of your second loop, when you when you hit the intersection of um, of uh, of 42 and 393 at the end of the loop, from there it's a it's it's mostly um, a net downhill back towards town. So, um, but in that in that top part of the loop there. The terrain is is large rollers, meaning long uphills and long downhills, but a net 
uphill until you get to the end of the loop. Then all the way back towards town, it's a net downhill uh, very fast. It's not so net downhill that's, you know, that you're kicking it and you're resting, mm -hmm. but you can definitely, you know, come off the gas a good, uh, you know, 30, 40 watts if you wanted to spin, get your heart rate down, get some calories in, etc. cetera. Um, okay. I, I, I have a feeling that there are no aid stations uh, from the end of the loop all the way back towards towards town, although that's only like mile 92. I got to think they have one aid station in that 20 miles, but uh, but check it out. You, 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 you do not go into this out and back on the way back home, um, which makes me think I don't remember if there was an aid station right there at, uh, at the corner, so... Um, so what I'm saying is on, <clears throat> on your way out, on, on your way out from town, out to the out and back and out, uh, uh to the loop, pay attention to where the aid stations are and figure out if you're going to have an aid station for that section back into town, because you don't want to be in a place where, you know, your last mile is, your, your last aid station is mile 92. Yeah. <laughs> And, and you're not ready to go, you know, 20 miles with uh, only what's on your bike. So yeah, good pay attention. I would, I would say, and also just to wrap up the bike course here, um, you know, that loop looks to be about 29 miles, almost 30 miles of a loop. Um, so if you were planning on going out and just riding one take of the loop on your Friday ride, that's going to take a lot of time. You know, at, you know, at the bare minimum, it's going to take you an hour and a half at, you know, race setup, race watts. Um, you know, being smart, taking your time is take like an hour 45. And if you're slower than, uh, you know, the top 10%, you're going to be out there for two plus hours. Um, I would strongly recommend against doing that. It sounds good, looks good on paper. Don't do it. Can I really say something here? Let's see what happens. <laughs> 